I am so now. Uh, well, I was working at the Trafford Centre in the shop. Um, I, was, I was working there with my mate and I'm doing the, uh, the night shift, um, finishing about half ten. And one of the reasons that I'd, I'd um, started doing the night shift was so I didn't have to drive home in the rush hour traffic. You know, I, I can't stand that. Just wanted to, um, you know, finishing at 10, you've got the morning to yourself to get a few bits done. And then coming home at the night, the, the roads are nice and clear and I like having them to myself a bit. So anyway, this night, I've, uh, I'm giving my mate a lift and he's, um, he's not been in my new car before. And I've been going on about him to him for for ages, you know, every every time um, got something new for it, got a bass tube, was running in to tell him, got some new alloys put on it and that. <sighs> so anyway, I give him a lift and uh, you know, we set off and getting onto the ring road to get back into Manchester and that. And we're driving along and he's saying to me, come on, you, you know, you said this car could go and, and I had, I, I told him it was rapid. And, He's calling me a Sunday driver and, you know, you know, just messing about. So anyway, I've, I've put my foot down a bit, yeah, just to, just to show him with, you know, he, he got pressed into the seat a little bit and, you know, he wasn't going that fast, got doing about 70 or something. And we, so we're driving along and, you know, it's like all the traffic lights were green and we're just going, just going through and... <sighs> So we've got back into Manchester and we're coming down past Eaton Park um, and doing about doing about 60 and got to that bit where the road uh, bends and narrows a bit and um, you know slowed down a bit uh, to about 50 and uh, see a, a motorbike coming the other way and you know I've, uh, I've moved across a bit to let him pass you know I'd seen him and everything it, so it's just coming up to go past and then the next thing it's just, just black out and next thing I remember is just opening my eyes and it's just pain like uh, you can't even tell it and uh, like trying to look around and it, it turns out it, it won't it wasn't a motorbike, it's a car with a light out. So as I've come down, I've just spat straight into him. And I've like bounced off him into the wall. And and, uh, and he was he was dead, the other guy. And they said they said that if I was doing fifty and he's doing thirty, that's the same as like for both of us it's the same as it in a brick wall doing doing eighty. So, I, I, you know, I don't know how I got out of it. And, uh, and my mate, he was gone as well. And I had to, uh, I had to go to his funeral, but his, his mum and dad there, and all his family. And, I, you know, everyone was all right with me, but I knew when they were looking at me that, you know, just thinking it was my fault. And, the way it is now, my me, me mum won't even talk to me, you know, she should barely look at me. And everyone on the street knows I'm off to prison. For seven years. I, I, I just don't know how I'm going to do it. <sighs>